Hey guys, so today we're going to be checking out a ceiling fan that I never really thought that I would own from a brand that I'm usually seen ripping on. It is a Westinghouse Aerialist ceiling fan. Now, Westinghouse is a brand I'm usually not a big fan of because the quality of their products usually is pretty bad. However, this fan's actually good. Actually, it's really good. I'm very, very impressed with them. We'll be going into some technical info and all that stuff in a second. But first, I'll go ahead and give you a close-up of the fan. This one's in the polished chrome finish with silver or black gloss blades. I have black facing down because I thought that that would look better. And the fan has a 15 degree blade pitch, by the way, if you're wondering. So that's definitely not bad. But of course, for a two blade, you usually will see a bit of a, a higher blade pitch so you can move some more air. And this fan does actually move really good air. So up here, it's basically, it mounts like a hugger. And then you put this on, and then this whole mount here attaches via three screws, one, two, and then a third one back here. And then down here, you obviously attach the blades. There's also another screw up here. I'm not too sure exactly what this holds on since it was assembled when I got it. But yeah, I assume that that drops the center cap, and then there are some screws that hold on each of these arms as well. And yeah, this whole thing does spin, um, so that's cool. And then I'll also show you up here the uh, the logo on the side of it. I don't know if I mentioned in the new fan video, but there basically there's a bunch of information I gave that was wrong, and we're going to be correcting some of that. First of all, this fan definitely was not made in 2021. I don't know if I mentioned that in the new fan video, but these fans were long gone by then. So I don't actually know when this thing is from. I'd have to take a better look to see if I can find what's actually the date. So yeah. Let's uh, get the fan started up. It does use a DC motor, so it's got this basic six-speed uh, DC control. If you're wondering, it's a DC 125 motor. The fan moves about 6,000 CFMs on high, I believe is what it said. And here we go. This one's got quite a bit of stutter, but it starts up eventually. It is a really cool fan to see, though. And it goes a little faster than normal just to get it going, but then it slows down. So anyways, yeah, so this model was introduced in 2016, which I believe was like their 70, 70th or it was some anniversary, I think it might have been 70th. But anyways, so it was introduced then in two finishes, both this one and oil brush bronze. And then another mistake I probably said was that the oil brush bronze was discontinued first. That was wrong. This finish was actually discontinued first in uh, 2018. It was no longer in the catalog. And then in 2020, the whole fan itself was no longer in the catalog. They discontinued the other one too. So yeah, the fan didn't last extremely long, which is unfortunate because it's a really cool fan. And the only review I can find was a really, really positive one that, and in the end, that person ended up buying a couple more so yeah, these fans retailed for about four or five hundred dollars. I got this one for like nine or eight bucks, something like that. So yeah, I was at a I was at a salvage store and they had it priced for twenty. However, or well, actually it was like seventeen, but basically we'll round up to twenty. And uh, yeah, it turns out that tag was half off, so I ended up getting it for really cheap. And how this restore prices fans is actually based off the size and the amount of blades it has. And that's funny because that means the lesser blades, the cheaper it is, even though the lesser the blades, typically the more air moved by the fan. So yeah, and then not to mention this fan uses a really nice DC motor. So the fact that it was so cheap is amazing and that's why I had to buy it. Yeah, like I said, quality from Westinghouse typically is not my favorite. So I'm not usually um, one to uh, compliment to Westinghouse, but this fan is actually really nice. It's pretty well made, the blades feel good, the metal quality feels pretty decent too, and airflow is good too. It's now on speed two. And I'm not using the kilowatt because the fan does not like to respond with the kilowatt, so I'm just not using it. It's that, or well, what I found out was that my remote battery was dying, so perhaps that's why I wasn't responding last night when I tried it with the kilowatt, but either way, we're just gonna go without it for this video. It is a really cool fan though. It's really, really fun to watch. I can already start to feel it. And we're gonna go ahead and put it up to speed three. It 
the like even older Westinghouse was not the greatest quality. Even back in the Ancon days, it still wasn't the greatest. They've always been a fairly meh brand. So for this fan to actually be pretty decent is, was honestly a shock to me. I only really bought it because it was cheap and it was cool. But I'm not disappointed at all. Unless, of course, something goes wrong, and in that case, I will be very disappointed because this fan is basically new without the box. The blades were still wrapped, everything was new, and the manual and everything was with it, the balancing kit. So it was clear they took it out of the box to test it, and then um, I can imagine the box would have been big, and they only hung on to smaller boxes from what it seems. seemed. Well, they kept smaller box or smaller new in box fans in the box because. I also got a little Menards hugger that was still in the box, and that box was pretty small. But anyways, yeah, so basically the fan was new, so I got really lucky that I, I hardly paid anything for it. You know, this was a great find. Alright, we're on speed 4 now. Before we were obviously on speed 3, now we're on 4. It is really moving the air. It does have a little bit of a wobble. I can only imagine that would be cut down if we were installed on an actual ceiling. Another thing is that it it seems to have a bit of um like the bottom part. The one thing that I would say bugs me the most is that that whole bottom hub, like it seems to like sort of move or wiggle. And that takes away from some of the flawlessness of it in my opinion, but it's still really cool. I still can't hate on it too much though because it's absolutely awesome. Anyways, let's do speed five. What's interesting on this remote is that they've got um, L, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then H for high. So they have low, the L and H for low and high, and then the rest of them are numbered. I found that kind of interesting. Usually they just do 1 through 6. This was one of those models that really did interest me in the catalog. One thing I'll say is that Westinghouse's two-blade models always really attracted me from the Solana to the Sparta to this one and the Longo, which didn't last for very long. But yeah, all of those were all two blades. And the Westinghouse two blade line, I always thought was really, really cool. The Aerialist was by far the coolest and also my favorite. You can really hear the air moving off this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it up to high. Don't know how much of a speed difference there is there. Doesn't appear to be much. Oh wait, never mind. There was. What? If, actually, I wonder if the um, I wonder if the tachometer will work with this one since the ref the material of the blades, you know, it's like shiny. So I'm gonna go test that and see, because it likes to respond with reflective materials. So that gives me faith that it might actually. Oh, I forgot. It's dead. The battery died. Completely forgot about that. Well, I guess we won't be doing that then. All right, very well. Then we're going to go in for a close-up, and then we'll do spin-down, which I can already tell you is not going to be very long. It's a DC, never is. And I'll also give you some other angles of it while it's running. This is such an amazing fan, though. All right, now I'm going to get directly underneath the fan so you can see it from that angle. Yeah, the fan really hauls. This thing is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I never thought I would like a Westinghouse product as much as I like this one, but I do. I'll give it to them. Some of their modern designs are really cool. Um, a couple other ones that spring to mind are both the Julian and the Joseph, which are two uh, clear-bladed fans. I don't think either of them are DC like this one. But yeah, some of their contemporary designs are always kind of cool. I don't know how the quality on those is. All I know is that this one's pretty decent. And yeah, it's got to be from either 2016 or 2017. But yeah, the fact I got it for so cheap is really the kicker here. So, there we go. Fan has come to a stop. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.